Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Joe. <laughs> J to the OE, CEO of the CAC. <laughs> Yo, what's up? My name is Joseph Adeolo de Faras. And like I said, I'm the CEO of the CAC, AKA the Change Agent Collective, right? Because everything I do is about bringing y'all change, positive change. From shop talk to St. Adira to my work in ministry, my work as an actor. It's all about providing you guys with stories and, and conversations that bring positive change, right? So, what do you want to know about me? First thing I want to let you know, like I said, is my name is Joseph, and I bet you guys didn't know that. And I love that name, right? Because Joseph, it reminds me of Joseph in the Bible, and I always like to call myself the man of many coats and many colors, because I'm a man with many gifts, many qualities, and something that I think that you guys ought to know is there is power in a name, right? And it's interesting that I even have that name, right? My parents, my dad's name is Joseph, my grandfather's name is Joseph, my great-grandfather's name is Joseph, but they were all first bones, and I'm not. And yet God saw it fit to give me that name, and I believe he wanted to show me and encourage me through it, and I always take encouragement from that name. And so that's just the power in that. Yes, I'm Nigerian, but guess what? My grandmother on my dad's side is Jamaican. Not like a pinch Jamaican, like fully Jamaican. And guess what that makes me? That makes me a quarter Jamaican me. And when you say Jamaican me crazy, I say, yeah, that's because I'm Jamaican me. <laughs> yes, boy. And so I was born in the late 80s. And just because of that, I like to vibe with loads of different music from the 90s, like Jamaican brothers like myself, Bob Marley. Then I like to listen to people like Nas and Boyz II Men and bringing it back home, I used to love to listen to Style Plus. Look, if they had a concert tomorrow, I would be there. And so that's a little bit about my grandmother on my father's side. My granddad on my mother's side was a photographer. That is like where I get the soul of my creativity from. When I was at school, I did photography. I also did acting. I went to train as an actor and I am an actor, right? And that comes from that creative side of my family. There's so much ginger and love for things of creativity. And I believe in the power of creativity to bring positive change right and so one of the crazy things about my granddad on my mom's side he was a photographer he was the first photographer to bring colored photography to nigeria he used to take the photos of, he was a royal photographer took photos of the king in england and the queen when she first became queen and came to nigeria he took those photos too but of all the photos he's taken my favorite is that he took a photo of my grandfather on my dad's side before my parents started dating, before my parents got married. And I just think that that's such an amazing thing. We still have that photo till this day. About my grandfather on my dad's side. My grandfather on my dad's side was a judge. He was the chief judge of Lagos State. And I, and I think that that speaks so much to my family and my bloodline and the way that we think and the culture we have of justice and love and a hunger to see, you know, uh, um, to see there be good brought out of the land and the passion we have for this nation. And that's where I get that from. Now, my dad is the oldest of five. He has two brothers and two sisters, and his two brothers, just like him, are called to ministry. And I think that that's such an amazing thing. Like, how would that ever have happened? How would that have come to be if not for God, right? And so you might know him. My dad is Pastor Wale Adifrasin, his brother, Pastor Yemi Adifrasin, and his other brother, Pastor Paul Adifrasin. So they're all in ministry. And I think that that is, is insane and, and crazy, and only God can do things like that right and of the next generation my generation I am the first and so far the only one to be called to ministry and that has been crazy for me but also exciting to have so many people to look up to and while you might know my uncle as Pastor Paul I love to call him by his name that is also my name Uncle Adeolu right because I mean isn't that just cool that we have the same name? I'm named after him. He's the youngest of five. I'm the youngest of three. And I think that's cool. But I've talked to you about my the generations that have come before me and the older ones. But also let's talk about me and my generation. I ain't a kid no more. And I is married now. And I've got myself a beautiful wife. Her name is Alicia Adifarasin. And she is a lawyer and follows in that thread of line of justice and, and equality for people. My mother was also a lawyer. And both... 
my wife and my mom both went to the same university and those are the little things I pick at that just show me the power of God to be able to do and work amazing things. So we've talked about the fact that I'm in ministry. Let's talk about all the work I do on the creative side. I'm an actor and I've had the honor of being in films like both of the wedding party movies. I was in New Money, got to do a film called The Eve, Coming From Insanity, and I have more work coming out that I'd love for you to see, and I just really wanna share that with you because that's such a huge part of who I am, right? And then aside from that, I talked a little bit earlier about Shop Talk. Shop Talk is a show that I created because I really want to have conversations that have deep impact. And of course, there are gonna be more episodes, more seasons coming out, and I want you to walk on that journey with me, participate in the conversations. I hope you grow from them, and I grow from your comments and all that kind of feedback in the same way that I hope you give me feedback about who you are from this. So you've learned a little bit about me as an actor, what I do, shop talk as well, but about me as a minister, I'm currently the lead pastor of Ignite GLA, which is the Fellowship Out of Guiding Light Assembly for our generation, here to come and experience God. And we would love for you to join us. If you're ever in Lagos, make sure you come through to us. There's information about it on my Instagram, at adeolu.adefarasin. And if you can't see it there, you can always DM me. And it's always awesome on our page at Ignite GLA. And if you're not in Lagos, you're anywhere else in Nigeria, or anywhere else in the world, tune in online. The information is always there. Look, you guys have learned so much about me, but here about we just leave you with one more little detail, a nugget. I only speak English, man. Like, I don't even speak pidgin. I don't speak Yoruba. I don't, my wife speaks French. I don't speak French. She speaks Spanish. I don't, I don't do nothing of that. But I'm going to try and learn. And this time next year, challenge me if I don't just give you one small thing like that. All right. Nice to meet you all.